getting ready to go. I have to take all three boys to the doctor. And um, it's going to be crazy here if you're going to hear them. But I just wanted to throw a little bit of makeup on because I always feel better when I do. So, what are you doing, love? I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. You're hungry and thirsty? Well, dadgum it. I guess I better feed and drink you, right? Okay, I'll fix you something. Let me get ready to go, and then I will quickly feed you. And but not what because I had one in my Okay. I, um, I'm going to take you along my days today. We're going to go to the doctor, and then if the kids um, are released to where they're not contagious, I'm going to see if we can run by Dollar Tree and pick up their Valentines for school. It'll be in town anyway, just, you know, get that out of the way because I always get the wrong ones I never like and then they won't take them to school. Anyway, this year, they're not decorating boxes. So this is going to be the first year in, I think, six years we haven't had to decorate a Valentine's box. Instead, they're going to decorate a bag at school. And that's just my youngest. The other two, like, the seventh grader, um... Sorry, I just hit my face from now. He doesn't have any kind of Valentine stuff. But the um, middle schooler, no, good grief. The fourth grader and the first grader are having Valentine's parties, but the parents aren't invited, so I don't, I don't get to go. Not that I would go anyway. I don't know how my anxiety is. And the lights in the school really bother my eyes. They're worse than Walmart. Um, but I forgot what I was saying. It's time to get ready to go. Kiki's on her way. I'm just joking. Mommy! What? Boy, I know you got hands, and I'm getting ready to go. Uh, you can either wait for me to finish because I'm almost done, or you can grab what you know you're allowed to eat. Okie day? Huh? You need to cook something. I don't have time to cook anything. I don't know. Probably. Where's my shoes? Boy, you better find them. I don't know. Where's my shoes, Mom? I don't know. Put them where they're supposed to go. And maybe you can find them. I swear. I swear. I know one of your shoes is behind the shoe trunk. If you're looking for a Crocs. All right, so I've got breakfast. I made chicken and grits because I forgot to lay out my bacon to thaw. Diesel, you need to be ready to walk out the door. Are your shoes on your feet? Turn that off and get your shoes on your feet. We're about to walk out the door, please. Thank you. Okay, I gotta pack my lunch. So I'm gonna show you what I'm taking. Cause you're all going to the doctor at the same time because you all decided to fall ill at the exact same time. Got my backpack. This is what I do every time I have to go to town. And I'm sorry I'm whizzing y'all around. I am in a hurry because my mother giving us a ride because she is a saint. And she's on her way. My appointment is at 10, it is 9.25. It's a 20 minute drive to get there. So we have to run. Easton, I hear you. And if you repeat it again, I'm going to spin around in a circle. Okay, so that, I've got, I didn't even show you what it did, did I? I've got my um, chips and my chicken and broccoli. And I'm gonna grab. Let's see. 
He knows where the food is. Oh, okay, I'll find you something. I don't know what to find. Diesel, your shoes better be on those feet. Anyways, okay, go to the doctor, and then I will <coughs> tell you what to find out from there. So, here we go. Get in the car, please. Get in the car. He wants to get the car. Y'all? The doctor thinks they probably just have something viral that's going around. So she decided to just do a quick um, swab that tests for like 20 different respiratory things to rule them out and said they'd be okay to go to town. So we went to Sam's Club for lunch really fast and Dollar General to pick up a few things. But just out of caution, I made sure that they didn't touch anything because I didn't want anybody else to get sick. All right, so I'm at my mom's house now. We went to the doctor. It was craziness because that one didn't want a no swab. So that was... He had me jerking around the room like a pinball, I'm not wanting that much But we went to Dollar General and got a birthday gift for my nephew and Valentine's for the kids, and I'll show you what I got real quick. So these are the Valentines my youngest picked out. It's Jurassic Park, and then the 11 year old picked out Ninja Turtles. I like these, these are cute. And then for my nephew's birthday, he really likes stapling things, so I got him his own little stapler, um, some paper. Oh, these go with the Jurassic Park Valentine's. Some ballpoint pens and some staples along with a birthday card. So I've got to put this gift together because we're going to have his birthday party. Because the boys are going to be out of school tomorrow too, so we have no rush to get home. And oldest son picked out these ring pops for a dollar, so I got those. So I'm going to pack this gift. It's crazy here. And then take a nap, I think. While my oldest son and sister worked on a Ninja Turtle puzzle, my youngest wanted to get started on his Valentine's. So that's what he did, and he did such a good job. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it in. So well. I just got some happy mail. It is something that I ordered from Bethany, a Simply Crafted Co. I'm going to open it and show you what so I got. So I ordered these little car coasters, and I had her put my... um catchphrase be grateful go grace and god bless so i'm so excited for these because they're leopard i love leopard and when we get our car back i'm gonna put them in there i'm gonna make it my mom mobile you know make it feel more like me because right now since i hardly ever get to drive it and we haven't had it since before my birthday in december um it just still feels like a new car and it, like it doesn't belong to me so i'm excited about these how fun i love them so much and she also had a handwritten note that she actually made herself that is so sweet and then um her business card simply crafted co with her information on the back so if you're interested and i will have it linked below so thank you so much bethany i love my car coasters i wanted to share with y'all um before i went to do my makeup at the beginning of this video i did do my bible time and i decided to read in hebrews and it's chapter two, and I'm just gonna read it really quick, and then I have a really awesome testimonial for you. So it's, everything is under Christ's control. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him? God also bearing them witness, both with signs and wonders, and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. And then it goes on to talk about how the order that God put in the heavens, like the angels were not as important as Jesus, because he puts everything under Jesus' subjection. He made the worlds through 
Jesus, he is the son of man, he's the son of God. Um, it says, uh, for it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. And I'm really glad that I randomly turned to Hebrews and read about that because it just really gave me an anchor in my spirit today that God is in control of everything. Because at the doctor, and some of you may not relate to this at all, and I apologize, but God's in control of everything, no matter the situation. But my... I haven't talked a lot about it on here. I have said that we are a neurodivergent household. Um, one of my children has ADHD, ODD, and DMDD, which makes him very angry, very stuck in one thought process, very distracted and hyperactive. Um, it's hard, I'll just say that. And when it came time to do the respiratory swab in the nose, I prayed the entire time in my head that he would just cooperate and let the doctors do their job. They were really nice about it. They were very understanding, for which I am grateful because I have crazy anxiety. And I was in there by myself for the first time ever with my three sick children. And my mom stayed out in the waiting room because the rooms were small and I was like, I'll just, I'll go by myself. And so reading the scripture anchored in my spirit, God is in control. So like I said, I was praying the whole time that this would just go okay and he would just do it because I was on the verge of a panic attack from having to wrestle him around. I was holding him and he was just, he had me flinging around that room like a pinball in a pinball machine, like craziness. And finally, my son shouted out, pray for me. And so I out loud prayed over him. I was holding him in a hug and the one of the nurses was in front of him. One of the nurses was behind me and I was like, dear Jesus, we come to you today asking that you just pour your peace all over my son so that he can stand here and get this test done with no problems. We thank you for the nice nurses. They are amazing. Please let them do their job with no problem. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And y'all, he stood still for half a second. They did the swab and got the job done. So I just want to encourage you that no matter what you have going on, God cares about every single little detail in your life. Whether that's a nose swab for your kid, whether it's you need help getting up in the mornings because you're tired, if it's you get angry sitting in traffic, if you are saved, you are a child of God. He wants you to bring your burdens to him. Everything. He cares about it. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, that's too small. Don't bother God with it. No. Go to him. He loves you. He wants to take care of all of those issues for you. And even if he doesn't fix those issues, I promise you he will give you peace that nothing else in this world will. This world will. I got tongue tied. Anyway, that's my little testimony for today. And that was in Hebrews chapter two, if you wanna look at it for yourself. It was two verses one through four. And then I skipped over to verse 11. Um, it's really good if you are confused about the hierarchy of things. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say for today and um yeah I'm encouraged I hope you are too One more thing when I was telling my mom about it she said that is a very stressful situation but you were a witness to those people in there um of the power of God and how he listens and that just really made my entire day because it was very stressful I was almost in tears so you know, no matter what you're going through in your life. Well, this is all over the place. I'm sorry. Um, but sometimes our testimonial isn't what we're going through. It's how we handle what we're going through that sets us apart from the world. So I guess instead of completely losing my mind and giving up on my son and the doctor like I could have. I chose to take it before God and in my weakness, he was great. So I just think that's beautiful. So I have just made, well, I didn't make it, bought it. My father-in-law bought it for the boys. Some chicken noodle soup, it's the Progresso um, 
lighter, like so it's not a ton of salt for the boys because let me tell you what the doctor said. Let me put you down. The doctor said one of my boys has COVID and one of them has flu A. The other one doesn't have anything, but I don't know if I can believe that because it was a real challenge getting his nose swab done. Um, I probably should have made two cans of this. We'll, just, we'll see. So they said just treat it at home. They didn't give us any antibiotics or nothing because you know, what do you do for those? So I'm just making, I just have some chicken noodle soup and rest. Yep, I definitely should have made two cans because my oldest boy will eat this whole can by himself. So, fixing their soup for them for their meal and uh, yeah. This is the soup. And I love that it's pop top. Sorry, my head's chopped off. I can't, I still don't have a tripod. Um, Anyway, so this, this day turned out to be, it was a fun day. Uh, I didn't like that the kids are sick, but I'm thankful that we got them to the doctor and found out what's wrong with them and I can treat them at home. They are out of school for the rest of the week and today is Thursday. I'm filming this the next day from yesterday. And yes, I'm still in yesterday's clothing. I, I don't even know what day it is. I believe it is Thursday. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along my little day in the life and uh, I'm just gonna feed the boys. We're gonna relax and watch movies. And I'm probably going to start filming a reset video because my house has really suffered in the sickness this week. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Be grateful, give grace, and God bless.